well, how would it do there, Halligans? All right, I'm very excited for today. Uh, it's time for Nori Morning Yomi Sky. Uh, we're uh, doing space stuff. Um, okay, before I forget, I have to build a second house because my little Stone Age house isn't what the game wanted me to build, but that's fine. I still like my little Stone Age house. Uh, but I do have to make sure that my power's all good. Um, and I have to build a cylinder. Oh yeah, see this guy needs more fuel. Uh, I have to build a cylindrical house. I still don't really know what that means, but yeah, we'll figure it out together. <laughs> and before I forget, I have some thank yous to get out. Wiggles! We got so many stream streaks. Wiggles with a 40 stream streak. Thank you. Spring with that three stream streak. That's a big old jam jam. Ganon with the 90 stream streak. Palatable Pizza with the 105. Thank you both. Wowzers. Gosh. And Max really with the three. Thank you all. I really appreciate it. Um, uh, Y'all have no idea how much lurking supports streamers and I, I really appreciate it so much. Okay, I have to build this big old boy. Um, I don't know where to build. I, uh, I don't know how much space I'm gonna need. So we'll just build you back here. All right, and now I need to build a door to get inside. If I remember right, door. Eh. I don't need to build two doors. I think that should be enough. Um, all right, so now... Okay, for a second I was like, did my door disappear? <laughs> so now I need to power my house thing. Um, how are you doing, Mr. Battery? Oh yeah, you're, you're killing it. Um, lurking, who could ever? <laughs> Zane, hello, welcome in. Um, you can build the cylindrical rooms on top of each other. Oh, so I could just build a big old tower. Sick. All right, I think I will build some additional solar panels. Um, except I need gold and metal plating. Fudge. All right. Um, well, I also need to staff this. So I think what we'll do is head to space. And in space, I can go get some staff. And also I can get gold. I think that is the plan. I also have stuff I gotta sell because my storage is getting pretty full. Um, actually, this I will put in storage. I can't put that in my storage from here. Uh, so let me do that real quick. We're gonna just store that. Okay. Space Wizard Tower, let's do it. I'll just build my own little, uh, <laughs> and then I'll never have problems finding my base because it'll be a gi <laughs> ginormous tower. Oh, that feels so silly. Gosh, I really do love this planet with its pink sky. It's very cute. It's very demure. Um, all right, so first what I wanna do um. Yeah, I intentionally did that with the overlays. If it's distracting, oh hold on, chat is kind of off-centered though. Let me fix that. Uh, I can move chat if that is distracting. Uh, where are you? You guys are a little cut off there. There we go. Um, I want to go to an asteroid field. Uh. If I remember right, there's an asteroid field in this direction. Uh, but is it mindful? Well, minus... Honestly, only sentinels are really an issue. Alright, where are some asteroids? I know there's more of them. I just don't remember where they all are. But I know asteroids tend to have silver and gold in them, so... If I can just aim properly. <laughs> just gotta get my aim right. 
Oh, this guy's got nothing but silver. I don't need that. Fudge. I wish I could remember now where this asteroid field is. Platinum? I mean, I'll take it, I guess. There used to be more asteroids here. Am I crazy? I guess people have been farming in uh, my little system. There we go. Come in for a gentle approach. Kablam! Uh, there we go. That's some gold. I'm just going to have to get quite a bit of it if I want to build more than one solar panel. I recently learned you can beat up some sentinels enough that they leave you alone. Or you learn where the towers are to disable them. You know, I did see a sentinel tower once. Uh, I chose to not mess with it though, cause I was afraid that would be, uh, I don't think I had like enough good gear to like pull that off yet. At some point I should find their little base. Here we are. This is what I was hoping for. Um, hopefully I can find their little base on Paradise Ferd. And uh, then I can uh, get rid of them potentially, which would be kind of nice. Again, I don't think I've actually seen them on Paradise Fert except for the first time I landed and I picked up a thing that makes them mad. Uh, and that's the only time I've run into them so far. So thankfully they're pretty, no, I think there was one other time they like, you know, cruised past, but. Trying to not hit asteroids right now, but I'm afraid I'm hitting them anyway. Hold on. <laughs> it's only a temporary shutdown. Oh, then that doesn't even really feel super worth it, honestly. Gold nuggy. Let's go. How's everyone's day going so far? I feel bad because I, I had so much more work I needed to do this morning and I just was not well enough to get it done. Um, I still want quite a bit more gold while I'm here. I did pack for my trip though, so I, I'll chalk that up to a win. Got new meds, Oshifert is streaming. Had mediocre pasta. <laughs> Sorry, it's just aggressively okay pasta, man. I will say, I feel like pasta is one of those things where like texture wise, if it's not cooked right, it does not taste great, right? Like if it's, if it's overcooked, it gets like mushy. And if it's too al dente, then it's like kind of impossible to eat. This is what we tune in for, is the hardcore uh, asteroid mining mission. <laughs> oh, fudge! I didn't mean to hit you! God, not again. This is like the second time I've done this. Are they a pirate or did I just shoot someone who's nice? I think I just shot someone who's nice. Acts of piracy. I don't want to fight them. Oh, I'm just gonna run. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. <laughs> Can I wave a white flag? I didn't. Oh, I didn't want to do this. We're gonna get out of here. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go to the anomaly. Oh. I feel so bad. And if they clap me in iron, so be it. That is my crime. All right, that should be like a decent chunk of gold. Um, I don't wanna forget to get this multi-tool expansion slot. I need to go to the multi-tool upgrade rack for that. I don't wanna forget to do that. 
Clara sees potential prey and instantly opens fire. No, truly, I just was not paying attention. All right. I'm I'm gonna fight you. I'm looking for him. That's fine. I'm gonna blow him up. Where are you? I'm gonna right my wrongs and prove that I'm not a pirate. Come on, Mister. I have to. I have to. <laughs> I have to prove to the local system that I'm not bad. <laughs> There we go. Now, back on course. Never turn your back to Clara, you'll find 12 knives in it. Why are we creating this mythos where I'm some really cool, violent badass? <laughs> I can't even throw a punch very well. I took a self-defense class for a while, and um, my self-defense teacher was like <laughs> a very nice person. Uh, but when he was having us run drills, he looked at me and he was like, oh, honey. <laughs> he said, girl, you gotta really work out because you're not defending anything with those noodle arms. And I was like, I know, t I know, teacher, I know, sensei. <laughs> what do I do? Uh, and so he looked at me, he said, honestly, your best weapon, your best, your best method is probably going to be Muay Thai because of those sharp little elbows. <laughs> uh, Muay Thai is a really, a really interesting martial art where you're fighting with your elbows and knees. It can be really brutal for both the person fighting and the person on the receiving end. Uh, and so his advice to me was like, get good at throwing an elbow because you're real bad at throwing a punch. <laughs> I wish I could say I was good at the kneeing part, but I'm pretty uncoordinated. <laughs> but I feel like I learned enough to sort of make my way. I figured I'm gonna stop by here real quick. I don't think I can pick up uh, aliens to join my, my house here, but I did want to grab some upgrades while I was in the neighborhood, which is this way. Please don't stab anything in knee height. Uh, I mean, the reality is, the first thing I learned in self-defense class was uh, there's no fighting fair in, in an actual moment of self-defense, so uh, I'm going for anything. Any soft bit is fair game, man. Uh, I want to unlock things, because I have quite a bit of salvage data. Um, oh, I want to get the Mordite root. What do you mean I don't have enough modules? Why did I think I had more? Ah, oh, fudge, I totally messed up. Okay, well, I'm sorry, that was wrong. <laughs> that was a waste. All right, then we're gonna just head back to space. My bad. <laughs> I don't know why I thought I had more. Just remember, Clara, that's my purse. I don't know you, and then kick. <laughs> Clara, pirate for its scourge of the 12 systems, shipmaster of stolen pants, and looter of snacks. <laughs> Clara has to wear a muzzle when going out ever since the incident. Okay, I have a joke to make about this, but I need to preface it so people don't think I'm absolutely heinous. I've seen posts online where people will post pictures of their dogs wearing muzzles, and then they'll explain like, oh, um, it's not that my dog is like aggressive or violent, it's that my dog will eat any trash off of the ground, including poop, and so I have to muzzle my dog so they don't eat poop. Uh, and that's where my brain went, and then I realized I can't rightfully make a joke about eating poop without... <laughs> I really feel like I gotta preface that one. <laughs> to be clear, I don't eat poop, alright? Uh, nor do I eat trash, but I am the type who will try eating anything once. Um, although not as much now, because it'll potentially ruin my stomach. Uh... But I don't know, like, I'm still in the camp of, like, I'll try it, you know, if it's, if it's food. I'm not gonna, like, eat bleach, but... <laughs> Pants Pirate kind of works as a title. <laughs> he played too much Cult of the Lamb. 
Okay, so I would like to get some things. I would like to sell some things. Boo-doo-ba-doo. Hello. Oh wait, no, you're not the cell machine. You're the teleport machine. Uh, buh, buh, buh. You're the cell machine. Hello. Hello, eyeball. Um, I want to sell. Oh, the geck relic I can give as a gift. Uh, um. Can I sell the convergence cube? I believe I can sell the convergence cube, but I don't want to do it and then make a big old mistake. I think that's the only thing I really want to sell right now. Yeah, that's like, that's an eyeball, right? Tell me I'm wrong, look at him. He just, he blinks and everything. Uh, okay, so, I think I have pirate stuff too. Nor? Okay, but I do have a ton of navigation data. I should be using that. Some recipes need the cube? All right, cool, I'll put the cube in storage. Thank y'all. Punching is all about follow through. Yes, this is true. Yeah, when you're throwing a good punch, uh, the idea isn't that the punch ends at your knuckles. You want to imagine that the punch extends past your hand. I need the multi-tool upgrade station, please. I would like to install the slot that I had. Upgrade. Um. Yeah, I'll leave. Okay. And cool, I used that. I want to sell some of these modules because I don't have space for them. Although they are pretty good. What to do? What to do? I think the goal is to get a better ship in the future, so I think that's going to be my priority. Um is earn more or uh, earn more monies to get a better ship. Um, so I want to sell ship upgrade stuff. And I forget who buys it. Yeah, it should be make ship face 2 or it should be make ship face junior. Hello. Can I sell stuff cuz I'm not using it. I don't care if they're good. I don't want it in my inventory. Junior happens to a different kind of shipping. <laughs> oh gosh. Hello. I'm going to give you a gift. There you go. We are friend. Uh, is there anything else I want to do while I'm here? I want to do more exosuit upgrade chart stuff. So let me buy a few of those. And then we'll go... Uh, oh wait, I need to recruit people too. Hold up. Um, hello. Would you like to join my house? How do I get them to uh, join me? Hold on. Um, construct terminals for specialist researchers. Find recruits aboard. Oh, so I need to make the terminal first. Okay. Thank you for that follow, Conorvor. Hello. All right. So then, let me um. Uh. Rate a planetary harvester. Um. Let's hunt pirates, I guess. Uh, yeah. Make hello. Thank you for hopping in! I appreciate that you've been watching my VODs. That's so nice. Uh, hold on. Uh, exosuits over here. There you are. Uh, yes. I would like to do a bunch of these. Oh! Uh, yeah. Thank you. Okay. And now we go. All right, so do I want to get friends first or do I want to do exosuit stuff first? Because I want to do both. Um, I 
You know what? Let's do exosuit stuff. I can grab materials while I'm out because I'm gonna need materials for crafting anyways. Uh, and then we'll go back to my planet and we'll do some fun stuff too. There we go. I have a plan. Welcome from watching VODs. I'm sorry for every joke I ever made. <laughs> Don't apologize, your jokes are funny. Um, oh, Nar, my bounty mission. All right, let's go do that before I forget. <laughs> It's staring me in the face, and I will forget if I don't do it immediately. Oh, fudge. Oh, hello. Stop being evil, please. This is a peace peaceful-ish uh, system. And I would appreciate if you cooperated. Go be mean elsewhere, please. Paradise Bird is not for meanies. Yeah, where do you? How many friends do you have? There's your friend. Hey, ow, 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 ow. Stop that. Your ship is very silly looking. I know that's maybe mean to say, but I can't help but admit it. It's, it's very goofy. Where are you? Come on. There we go. Cooperate equals disintegrate. <laughs> Ooh, I got a Vakeen effigy. Am I fighting Vakeen pirates? They must learn our peaceful ways by force. <laughs> Blam! Where are you? Ow, 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 ow. Come on. How many more are there? Is that everything? I'm not targeting anything else. There we go. I believe that is everything. Can I get anything from this abandoned ship? I don't think so. <gasps> I am friends with Gek, yay. All right, let me go to that drop pod. Where are you? Drop pod. Not the caustic nightmare again. Oh, okay. <laughs> Why do I do this to myself? I got a plan. Just have faith. It'll all work out. Just trust me. <laughs> I'm not good at trash talking. <laughs> That's the problem. I'm real bad at it. How do I trash talk good? We're gonna make it to space, Tahiti! <laughs> Just listen to, to Dutch Dogford. It'll all work out. Yeah, I know the rewards come when I uh, return to the space station. <laughs> You're bad at both trash talking and rizzing folks up. Balanced as all things should be. <laughs> Hello, worm planet. Carbon nanotube. Antimatter housing. Okie dokie. Hello. Bing bong, bing bong, bing bong, boom. Huzzah! Did you know you can zoom in while using the visor to scan animals slash planets? I don't know if I knew I could do that. I did not know that existed. <laughs> I've been playing this game for like at least 10, 15 hours now. I had no idea. Thank you. 
Gosh, of course I would, like, miss out on something so integral. Uh, okie dokie, let's go to the next one. Trash Talking 101. Combine random slayer plus innocuous item, i.e. shit biscuit. Okay. Random swear plus innocuous item. Um. Um. Hold on, I'm cooking. I'm cooking something really smart. I'm really good. I, uh. Swear plus item. Uh. Uh. You. You. You damn uh, jabroni. I don't know what a jabroni is, but. I sure got him! <laughs> Gosh darn it. All right, drop pod, drop pod, drop pod. Pew! That was one of the most tries ever. I did it. I did so good. Pat me on the back now. <laughs> Helps with birds. Thank you, because that's like the thing I've always struggled with is the birds are so far and so high. Uh, so yeah, that, I can't believe I never tried. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> We're gonna try and Clear, land. It's okay. You're pretty and that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Yeah, I'm pretty funny. I'm pretty clever. I'm the trash talkingest. Uh, dog this side of the Mississippi. <laughs> oh, gosh. I know it's always up to each streamer. I always thought of backseating as telling the person what's going to happen in the game. Spoilers in it. Yeah. So for me, um, saying like, hey, I don't know if you know X feature exists, that's not backseating. That's just useful advice. Especially because I will say No Man's Sky is lacking in the... Um, tutorials department a little bit don't be wrong i know that there's like uh you can go and read about stuff right but like it doesn't have like on-screen pop-ups right that are like oh hey just so you know you can zoom in like that information isn't readily accessible to my knowledge so i'm fine with that for me backseating is like oh this character oh you're gonna hate this character just wait, they're gonna be the worst character ever. And it's like, I don't know who they are yet, and I don't wanna prejudge them now, right? Or like, backseating is like, oh, you should be using grenades right now. It's like, if I wanna use grenades, I'll use grenades, right? Um, uh, like, I'll, I'll, if I wanna do that, I will do it myself. Um, that's more in my mind what backseating looks like. Um, but yeah, like, game mechanic stuff, I personally love getting because I don't know what I'm doing half the time. All right, cool. Figured I'd grab some dust while I was here. Pew, 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 pew. Yeah, backseating is telling the streamer how to play or what to do. Uh, yeah, for sure. That's that's how I interpret it, at least in my channel. Again, everyone's gonna be a little different. I always say it's good to ask, right? Like, cause like, so one of my favorite games of all time is Skyrim, uh, and I know entirely too much about that game. That's not the button I wanted to press, but that's fine. Um. I know entirely too much about the game, so I like watching other people stream it, but when I watch them stream it, um, what I do is I'll say like, oh, hey, like, I see you're doing this quest. Let me know if you want tips, right? Like, I'm always like, my suggestion, if you're not sure what to do, oh, uh, did I just waste? Oh, because I didn't use the dang thing. I'm a ding dong. Oh, I just wasted it. I'm a dingus. I forgot. <laughs> God dang it. I was so busy yapping, I forgot to actually upgrade the exosuit. Whoops. It's okay. I have a ton of navigation data, so I'm, like, not even upset about it. Um, but, yeah, my suggestion is always ask, right? Like, just frame it as a question. If you're not sure, be like, oh, hey, do you want tips on gameplay? Do you want tips on how to, like, resolve this quest, right? Like, that's always my suggestion to viewers. If you're not sure, just ask. Bing bong. Bing bong. Where's the drop pod? How far? An hour? Nah. We're gonna make that fast. 
Oh, I see. You're playing No Man's Sky. Let me know when to tell you how to do it right. Okay. <laughs> yeah, maybe don't. That's a good example of maybe what not to do. <laughs> the time you wanted to transfer the train ma manipulator from old to new multi-tool, you had to use the materials to build it again. It's because you accidentally chose to build a new terrain manipulator. God dang it. I had a feeling I did something wrong. <laughs> I really do like this game. I think the only thing is like learning the controls is a little clunky, but I will say in defense of the devs, I'm also someone who takes a little bit longer than others to learn controls. And I know that about myself, but like with games like this, I'm never like, if I mess up, I'm not like upset about it. Cause I can just farm more materials, right? Like, okay. So I accidentally used an extra exosuit map. That's fine. I'll just get another one. <laughs> Yeah, I did. I just, I misunderstood how that system worked. Whoop, 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 whoop. Chat was grinding their teeth for that one. I do feel bad because I know chat was like absolutely losing their minds. <laughs> I promise it's not intentional. I just truly didn't understand the system. <laughs> oh, there's a thing over there. Hello, worm. Antimatter housing, sodium. Oh, fudge, I need more sodium nitrate. Oh, beans. All right. What are the chances that I'll get sodium nitrate from one of these? I don't think they do that, but... A Gwarl can dream. I believe I can make sodium nitrate in a little processy guy, right? I believe that's the case. Do, 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 do. Yeah, if I remember right, I think sodium can get refined. Ouch! God dang it. Alright, let's go back to the ship real quick. Ow. Oh, is that the worm? He's like a big old grub. What happens if I fight it? Hungering tendril? Oh, he's fighting me, isn't he? Vessel of the many mouths. Exterminate the hungry. Biological horror detected. Ah, oh, fudge! Ooh, god dang it. Ah, oh, frig. Ah, oh, dang it. Oh, you... Oh, I'm trying to think of trash talk and I'm coming up empty. You d d damn louse. Oh, I'll get better. God dang it. Why were these in him? That don't make sense. Oh, I, oh, 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 God dang it. Fridge. God, stop it. Can't you just go be a polite member of society like the rest of us? <sighs> what just happened? I don't even understand. What was the worm doing? They've never done that before. I I was expecting dune-sized worm, but this is called hubris. No, what was the what was the what was the worm? I don't even I don't even know what just happened. All right, I'm gonna just make my sodium nitrate and get the heck out of Dodge. Sodium, where are you? Do, do, do. What the worm doing? I I don't know. Uh, here's the thing. I think I have a bolt caster. I just didn't remember. I my brain panicked. <laughs> I just, I don't have it in me to trash talk, man. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna need a bit of this, so I don't know. I'll just have like 50. That should be enough. Do you mean salt? Yeah, that's what I said. Sodium chloride. <laughs> yeah, I accidentally stumbled upon some sort of boss, but I don't know what I did to trigger it. I guess just existing? What sucks is I'm pretty sure I have a bolt caster. Hold on. 
Let me check. I believe I do. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, I still have to install it. All right, let's do that Going now. To be the Hold bearer on. of worse news for you, boss. No. That wasn't the worm. That was just a baby. The what? actual what? worm can be seen from the atmosphere. Also, I will teach you how to trash talk later. Ah, uh, ha, huh, huh. ha. What do you mean it can be seen from the atmosphere? What do you mean that ginormous grub was a baby? Excuse you? It gets bigger? Why? Oh, that is upsetting. No. Oh, okay, can we just blow up this planet? Is that an option? Can we just, can we just explode it? I need one more nanotube. Okay, I have a bolt caster now. I don't know how to use it. Paralysis mortar. Manipulator mode. I don't know how to tell. Okay. Oh, I forgot I have to... I gotta make another nano, nano tube. Think. It always gets bigger. Well, I don't like the sound of that at all. Well, on the bright side, I have more exosuit s slots. Um, so there's that. All right, I want to get the heck out of here. I don't like this planet anymore. No, actually, I never liked this planet. Let's be real. Off planet shipwreck outlook. I don't want to be there. All right, I want to go back to space station. Cause I have stuff to turn in. What if we put the spider monsters on the worm planet? <laughs> <laughs> They're not aggressive, though. They're just upsetting to look at. I think the thing you did to trigger it was being made of food. <laughs> oh, that's tragic. I am, I am, uh, I guess, a tasty-looking grub. Where's the button that turns this planet into an asteroid field? Yeah, I'm just failing to see, um... Hello, ship. Excuse me, ship. Oh, wait, you're trying to talk to me. Oh, sales gek? Uh. Ooh, you're selling gek nip. Um. I don't think I have anything to sell. Uh. Ooh, I have a geode. Flesh rope? The coiled remains of a hungering tendril's digestive tract. Though its meaty walls still convulse, there is surely no way Clara, for- Clara, you brought this on yourself. You aren't wrong. Ten tense, you are a total snack. I'm sorry, I appreciate the flattery. I'm stuck on meaty walls that still convulse. Um... Do I need to keep this for anything or can I sell it? Cause I don't, I don't want it um, really at all. Ew, I should see what happens if I put new, new, rancid flesh in the nutrient processor. <laughs> all right, I'm looking for the, the space station. Where the heck is it? There you are. I want the meats. I don't. <laughs> but now I need to know what happens if I cook it. I mean, because like, I don't see how cooking it will make it less rancid. It'll just be gamey and rancid, right? Like, I guess we'll find out together. Listen, sometimes you have to ask yourself, um, W, W... Uh, LD, which is what would Lyos do? And Lyos would be a brave man and cook it. So that's what my plan is. 
I have stuff to turn in. We're gonna go up here. Because I got a bunch of pirate stuff. Who? Oh, Lyos from Dunmeshi. He's the main character in Delicious in Dungeon. Well, one of the main characters. It's sort of an ensemble cast. Hello! I have pirate transponders. Cool. Thank y'all. All right. Pew! And I need to talk to giant eyeball. Hello. It's time for some trading. So thank you for the stream streak. Hello and welcome. All right. Uh, I'm gonna sell that. Uh, I'm gonna sell that. Can I not turn in these power transponders? I should go turn those in, because I don't need them all. Um, the keen effigies. I can just sell these, okay. Uh, we're gonna keep the convergence cube. Okay, flesh rope I can sell, correct? I don't cook with that. I have an art question. Uh, I can try to have an art answer. Oh, there's a limit to how many you can donate at a time. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, okay. Um. Or you can let me eat the rope. I don't think you want to eat that. I think that's going to make you violently sick. That's just me. Um, I'm gonna sell it, because I don't want that in my inventory. <laughs> I find it concerning. Um, boop. Okay. Uh, cool. And... Sick. Alright, let's go home. Yeah, it says it's for selling. That's what I figured. I just always get anxious. Um, yeah, let's just go home. I'll clear out my inventory, and then we will um, try and build some stuff. We'll try and build some stuff to attract some employees. Man, that's gonna mean, um... I'm gonna need to, uh... In order to attract employees, I'm gonna have to build them some housing. Give them some rooms and furniture. What do I want from here? Um... that in storage. We'll put that in storage for now. Um, I gotta give those relics to some Gek. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There's something else I wanted to put. That goes in storage. Uh, no, I'm gonna hold on to the gold because I need that for building solar panels. Okay. Back on track. Not forgetting what I wanted to do. Metal plating. Okay. Um, we're gonna build a solar panel or two. And then we're gonna build a battery. And the battery is gonna connect if I do this right. Connect. 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 All right. I'm gonna have to wait for daytime because they can't do anything at the moment. Oh, let's go cook the rancid meat. That's gonna go well, I'm sure.
Okay, so. Nutrient processor. What if I put in rancid flesh? Purged ribs. Why not? That sounds delightful. That sounds delectably delicious. You said you know, I might not be able to make art for Famford. Would it be okay if I made unofficial art? I would prefer if you did not. Thank you for asking though. Okay. Um, The char of the nutrient processor's highest power setting has burned the stench from this one rancid slab. They writhe no more. Can be consumed as stands or subjected to further processing. <laughs> Saying subjected is so goofy. Um, what can I process you with? Salt? <coughs> Excuse me. Um, pastry? I have no idea what to do with this. I guess you would serve it with like Fruit plate? I have no idea. I'm gonna just put that in storage. Uh, and while I'm here, we're gonna store that and that and that. Beautiful. Ugh, sorry, I'm all sneezy and gross today. Thank you. Uh, well, I need daytime. And I don't have a bed to make it daytime yet. I guess I could always hook up a biofuel reactor as a backup. Um... Do I want to do... Well, if I have the materials for it, it wouldn't hurt, right? Uh... Yeah... Let's do a backup. Why not? Bing bong. And... Oh, it's fudge. I did this wrong. Uh... I don't know if that's right either, but it's fine. We're just gonna... <laughs> just gonna leave it. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's fine. Um, well, I can't... I have to build terminals, right? Is the health station a terminal? Construction terminal. Uh, I guess I'll try this and see what happens. Construction terminal requires a skilled overseer. So now I have to go find a skilled overseer in space. Okay. Um, can I go to the space station from here? I can. Let's do that. Save my ship some gas. Okie dokie. Anyone want to work in my house? You don't have a bed yet, but I'll get you one. <laughs> I'm really doing a good pitch here, aren't I? Hello. I'll give you a Gek Relic. How do I find uh, someone who's qualified? I don't know. Hello. Find recruits aboard space stations, right? This is a space station. Are you a recruit? Well, I'll give you a gift anyway. Can, can I recruit you? No, I can't even talk to you. That's fine. Okay. That one line from Mass Effect used to be my text notification for a long time. Commander, you've received a new message at your terminal. <laughs> That's a fun notification sound. I like that. Hello. Can I give you more stuff while I'm here? Nope. Maximum donations reached. Okay. They used to be in a special room but they've changed the layout. Yeah, there aren't any specific rooms here. Well, maybe they're upstairs? You know what, since I'm here, you want a gift? There you go. 
Maybe they're upstairs. Uh. Hello? Hello? Well, okay, maybe this was a bust. I thought that would be smart. I also found some at some trade centers. Oh, does it depend on the type of space station? Because this is like a mercenary station. So is that maybe affecting it? Do I have to maybe go to a different um, type of station? Let me try that. Let's see. I think it's people with ships. Oh, like pilots. Let's find out together. Um, if there were any pilots, they'd be over here. Hmm. I meant trade center as in the type of building you find on planets. Oh, well, the quest itself says find recruits aboard space stations. So I think that's why I'm a little confused. Uh, mm, I'll learn words. Kiki, thank you for the 13 months. Hello. Claret 6 salute. Thank you for resubscribing. How's it going? Can I do anything with you? Oh, free? Thanks. I have nothing I can donate to you. Well, I could donate my salvage data, but I want that. <laughs> I need it for stuff right now. Um, I might have to come back to this quest later because I don't super understand how to advance it. Shoot. Um. It's going pretty good, Get keeping busy. Hey, good is good. I'm really happy to hear that. NG, hello. So they're still in there. Back then it was random. Some of the NPCs would turn out to be specialists. The ones sitting in chairs were somehow always specialists. So how do I know? Do I have to just talk to everyone? I've already visited all these guys, so. Great news, Howligans! Ooh! What's the great news? Oh, Captain Sip! Hey, do you wanna come to my planet? Oh! Construction overseer! Huzzah! Sip, you are now gonna join my house. Okay, so I think I can go home now. So it really is just random. <laughs> okay, I would like to go to Paradise Ferd. My loan from the bank was approved. <gasps> Yay, congrats. Oh, that's so exciting, Zane. I'm really happy to hear that. This is exactly how Clara kidnapped, uh, I mean, recruited me. <laughs> For what? You make it sound like I have you chained to a dex desk doing my taxes or something. All right, Captain Sip, are you here? You are. Ah, oh, fudge, I can't get into my own door. Hello. You have so much to learn, so much to see, and this place will be our home in midst of the infinite. Take this glass and let starlight flood into our jolly home. Okay. Everything pours through glass in the end, but there's time enough for that. There are other things we have to do. If you prepare chromatic metal, I will use it to calibrate a science terminal suitable for a Corvax entity. The Corvax have suffered terribly at the hands of my people. Be kind to them, I beg of you. Okay. 
a science terminal. Okay. Um. Oh, you can build into the basement? Interesting. Um. There we go. Getting the power on. So. I can make glass now? Is that what I have to do? Or did he give me glass? Let me return to him, because that's what it says to do. Overseer asks me for the- oh yeah, sure, take the chromatic metal, that's fine. Okay, now I have the plans, and now I can build the science terminal. Make your way to an abandoned structure, harvest data from their terminals. I'll use it for a storage container. Okay. You won't regret it, friend. Of course not. I trust you implicitly. Uh, while I'm here, let's build a science terminal. I'll just make this my fancy technology house. Recruit is outside local area. Consult galaxy map. Ooh, okay. We're gonna have to drop some stuff off then. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. I want to... Organize my inventory. That storage. Um. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. I really should sell this graviton ball, because that'll make me a hefty, hefty paycheck. Um. I think I have my inventory space sufficiently organized. So let's go for the stars. Okay. Please! Not the taxes again! Please! <laughs> what you gonna buy? You getting a house? Oh, yeah! That's a good question. Only if you're comfortable sharing. Alright. Where do I have to go? I have to uh, log off on nuke. Hyperdrive has no fuel. What do you mean my hyperdrive has no fuel? Oh, it doesn't. <laughs> now it does, nerds! Okay, so now we can go hyperdrive. Let's do do do. Wharf. Yeah. Getting my car refinance. Oh, nice. Ogie dogie. What the hell? Uh, do I want to know what this is? I gotta know now. Atlas interface discovered. The heck are you, mister? Are you a friendly eyeball? What the hell is in here? Hello? Is anyone home? What do you mean, roll for initiative? Don't say that. Please don't say that. Sorry, that music is very loud. 
Um, I have learned the Atlas word for the. Uh, warp cell? The Wicker Abstraction Atlas Interface. Oh, I don't know what you're saying at all. The Atlas called me to this interface, and yet its purpose remains unclear. It demands worship. It demands obedience. It welcomes me. It knows what I am. It offers the gift of true understanding. But why? Why does such power and knowledge crave submission? It knows my thoughts before I know them myself. It knows what I will do. The Atlas asked me to follow its path. Um... I don't know what I'm agreeing to. Milestone Pathfinder or above? Oh, uh, Chad, is this a bad idea? <laughs> I don't know what this is asking of me. Nobody reads the EULA or TOS. Just say yes. I believe in educated decisions. I don't want to find out that the fine print says this thing gets to hijack my brain. Or something. Uh... Okay? I will accept this. The sky is deep and full of wonders, and the path to enlightenment opens to me. Captured nanode? New product formula learned. Atlas seed containing zonally shifted quasi-stellar substrate. Warning, do not allow Matrix to commune with this dimensional space. What does any of this mean? I feel like I'm the bad guy, and I don't even know why. Ugh. Uh... What is this place? Is there anything here, or is this just another landing pad? It's red and not blue, so it's clearly evil. Not gonna lie, that is kind of my thought process. Yeah, I need to learn more words in this Atlas language, because I, I don't know what that thing was trying to tell me. Ancient bones. Oof. Desert planet. Fractured planet. Ooh! Rainy planet. This looks like it might be a, um... Paradise planet, though. It's very big. Are there any other planets in this galaxy? Oh! There's quite a few. Hold on. Um... What's your deal, little guy? Skeletal planet. And you are a grassy planet. Ooh, that might also be worth checking out. All right, let's go to this place. Potential scientist recruit. You ever heard this story about Eulas? In 2005, PC Pit Stop offered $1,000 to anyone who read their end user license agreement. The company added the clause to their Eula and waited for someone to contact them about it. After five months and more than 3,000 sales, a customer won the money. Oh, this isn't on the planet. This is a. a space station? Are you a space station? What are you? How do I get inside?
Hold on. I'm just getting a little distance so I can uh, get a better eye on this thing. There is the entrance. Found it. It was on the other side of the butt. Yoo-hoo! Space station that looks like a pyramid must be ancient aliens! Gosh. Oh, this is a commerce station. Hello, Corvax. Would you like a job? It's a pretty planet, but you don't have a bedroom yet. <laughs> I gotta make staff quarters. Unknown light form, I passed my test. I am free to explore, free to pursue my passion for structural analysis. Do you have a base, a science terminal? Think of all that might be done. Hey, if you're happy, I'm happy. Go for it. Think not of payment. Scanning you while you sleep will be reward enough. <laughs> Note to self, sleep in a locked ship at all times. <laughs> Alright, while I'm here, I believe I can get an upgrade. Somewhere. Here it is. Hooray! Okay. Uh, well, since I'm here, let me pick up some language real fast. Hello, Mr. Bikin. Yeah, I'll just, uh, Corvax symbol? Carapace, ew. Why is that a Corvax word specifically? Does your body have a carapace on it? I'm still not used to looking at the new station layout. I didn't realize it had changed. Disconnection. That's a good word to pick up. Sorry if it's boring to just pick up words, but it's helpful to me because I'll learn more about what people are saying in the future. Hello! Wait, come here. Hello, priest entity. Alien approaches you, you teach them the words skippy. <laughs> Hello! Oh, right, that's my buddy. Ah, a fellow Gek! The station shops used to be along the sides, not in the back. Interesting. I wonder why they changed it. Wellspur, thank you for the follow. Hello. Um, Gek symbol. Gek word for traveler. Hell yeah. Mining overseer. Well, aren't you cute? Friend! Yes, we are friends. Okay, cool. Um... You know, while I'm here... Hi, friend. F is for fire that burns down the whole town. U is for uranium! Bombs! Gosh, such a classic. Let's see what things are worth in the system. I don't think I have anything to sell, but let's see anyways. I really gotta carry around things for selling more often. Alright, um, let's go home. You know what, actually... Since I'm here, let me hunt down some navigation data so I can build some housing for my staff because I feel bad making them just sleep on the floor. <laughs> it doesn't feel right. 
<laughs> so since I'm here, I might as well pick up some units exploring some uncharted planets, right? Rainy planet. Let's go to the sun side of the planet real quick. Object of interest. Hello. Bargain for relic? Uh, no, I'm good. I don't know if what you have is something I want, so I'm not gonna do that. Oh, sure, staff get their own quarters, but the bots have to share a closet. <laughs> How dare you expose the truth? You're gonna- you're gonna get docked pay for that! <laughs> I kid. The mods are phenomenal. This is a funky looking planet. It's very, like... Willy Wonka. And it's color palette, you know what I mean? Ooh, I can't scan that. Loving all the colors, yeah, I kinda... I kinda dig it. Oh, that's a big beetle, are you evil? Raw milk? They are food seeking. Well, as long as I'm not food, that's fine by me. Um. I like that everything glows. It's very rainy here, but I don't see that being a problem necessarily, unless it's like boiling rain, right? Whoa, planet. Um. Oh, what is that? There's another animal, but I can't get eyes on it. Um... Ooh, there's a salvage container. How do I... It just keeps saying that there's a protective casing. How do I access it? Ah, I see. I had to break it. Huh? to break this. I gotta get the other casing? Oh. Ah, oh, fudge. What do you mean I'm low on ammo? coming! Fudge! Oh, they're mad! Ooh! Good thing I have my bolt caster, I guess? Ah! 
Oh, he's repairing his buddy. That's not fair. You're cheating. You cheaty McCheatersons. Why are you mad at me? Why are you purple? Combat supplies. What just happened? <laughs> I don't understand why Sentinels showed up. What did I even get from that? Humming seal? I don't know why they were mad at me. <gasps> You're adorable! Look at this little guy. What do you make? Milk? Huh. I have no idea what that was. Some worlds have corrupted sentinels? Oh. Is that why it was purple? <gasps> wait, you're so cute! You're a big kitty! Wait, 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 wait! Come back, come back, come back! It's a big kitty cat. Hello. You're so cute. Um... Oh, there's salvage data down there. I kind of like this planet. It's funky. Let's go down there. Let's explore a little bit. Time to make a base for later. I just might. I kind of like it here. Hey there! He's so small. Oh, this is a Corvax planet. That makes sense. It's a Corvax system. Um. Yeah, everything's all glowy. It's sick. It's so pretty. Go sleep, Zane. Get a good, get a good eep. Thanks for hanging. Uh. There it is. That's what I'm aiming for. Do I have this? Yes. Look at those big old beetle boys! <laughs> Look at him! It's so gentle. I like it. <laughs> Crack and cheese! Thanks for that follow. Hello. Yeah, this planet's kind of sick. Honestly, I'm liking this little light show. I'm just- I'm so afraid that what's gonna happen is there's gonna be, like, this horrible weather event. Like, it feels too good to be true, you know what I mean? Cool, I got a bunch of free stuff. Um... Yeah, these mushroom trees glow. There's an animal. Um, Eptaloid wheat. Let's go for the technology modules, because I do need to be getting salvage data for sure. Maybe I'll build my base up on a mountain or something. Um, This is what I wanted. Hold on, I didn't want to walk past this. 
What's the catch with this planet? That's my thing. It feels too good to be true. And I don't know what it is yet. Wait until you go to a plant planet with pink grass and bubbles. You know, I have a my home base planet has a like pinkish purple sky and that's really nice. Um It's honestly very pretty here. I like that everything glows. It's just such like a serene vibe. Wait for there to be like giant worms or something. <laughs> Oh yeah, what do we name this place? I was thinking the Willy Wonka experience, maybe. <laughs> Hi! God, I love him. He's so goofy. Little guy. Do, 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 do. I got technology. Luminous planet Glowford. Instead of Planetford, it's Glowford. Um interesting to see what daytime looks like on this planet. What are you? There's an alien over here. But I can't see through the ground. Oh, hold on. <laughs> what the heck are you? Why do you have eyeballs? On why do you have why why do you glow on your shoulders? This is the widest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Why is it named Frokage? Because it's the strongest frog creature in the West. Um, very technology module. PJ, don't worry about it. It's all good. We're on this really interesting glow planet. I'm glad we checked this place out. It's honestly really rad. Although, I thought this planet had water, so I do think I want to try and go s do some fishing somewhere. I just have to figure out where they have, like, oceans. Whoa! It's a big herd of beetle boys! Look at them all. The light patterns make me imagine the plants are communicating with each other. Yeah, there's something about this planet that's like very serene and I like it. And I don't want to like necessarily do a lot of farming. You know what I mean? I think I want to build, like, a vacation house here. <laughs> Does that make sense? Of course, it's got a superheated rainstorm. That's what I have to worry about. Let's summon my ship. So I don't catch on fire. So that's the catch, is the rain's gonna boil me to death. Oh yeah, okay, it's getting, it's getting, uh, sweaty. Yeah, so I'm thinking vacation house by the lake with a very generous roof system <laughs> so I don't get boiled alive. See, this is why all the plants were glowing. They're warning each other that it's about to get really hot. <laughs> yeah, 200 degree rain. Yum, yum. 
vacation house by the boiling lake? Well, that's actually a good question. The rain is boiling, but does that affect... That would affect, like, rivers and stuff, right? All right, had my little snack break. Let's take stock of what this is. Ooh. S tier multi-tool scanning module. I got space for it, so let's install it. Cool. Um. Atlantidium? This ethereal substance spills from the bodies of corrupted sentinels as they fall, a shower of prismatic grains seeking out their next host. It evades all attempts to contain it. If it had a will of its own, a strong desire for its own freedom. Used for building, charging, and upgrading. All right, well, I'll just put some of that in storage, I guess. I'll put that in storage. Put that in storage. Um, just trying to keep all my inventory organized. No need to boil your water for tea when you got boiling rain. <laughs> it's important in later game. Yeah, so I'll just throw it in storage then. Oh man, this planet's... Alright, so you know what? Let's fly around while it rains boiling air on me. Let's see if I can find some, like, cool stuff. Are there any rivers or lakes, or is this all just land? Hey! <coughs> Excuse me. Oh! There's thunderstorms. That feels good and safe. It's definitely something I want to fly through. Oh, um... So is there bodies of water here? Oh, this is beautiful! Look at this! Little bay area. This could be nice. It's a nice 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, this is perfect weather. It's the kind of weather where, like, you want a little light jacket. Um, but you're not, like, sweating, you know? It's, like, nice and breezy, but not too cold. I'm impressed your ship's metal's not breaking down. Honestly, same. What is that? Crystal sulfide. Armored clam. Um... Let's do a spot of fish in here. This could make such a cute vacation spot and I could have a little fishing done. How nice would that be? I think I like it. I can build a little dock. Got some friends. Yeah, let's do some fishing. I know I have the fishing module. Oh, I gotta friggin' install it. Barnacles! I forgot I have to reinstall stuff. Shoot. Ah, oh, beans. Bleh. All right, well, at the very least, can I build a base here? It's a baby! Oh, you're so small, because you're a baby. Um... Uh, what is this planet currently named? Hmm, maybe we change the name Bicock. Um, I don't know if that's really doing it for me. 
Um, <sighs> what do we name this planet? Because I don't, I don't, I don't think I'm really vibing with this. Um, hmm. <laughs> Bye, <Bi> booty. <laughs> <laughs> Semi chicken. Uh, uh, <laughs> I, I, I don't know why. I just keep thinking glow stick because it's like, uh, you know, at night it gets all glowy and pretty. I don't know how to incorporate that though. Oh, uh, hmm. <laughs> Ravelon. <laughs> Planet Ravelon? That's pretty good. I like that. Yeah, it's a disco party. Yeah, this beetle's adorable. <laughs> I like him. This is a fun planet. I enjoy it. I found all the fauna and I found all the minerals. Hell yeah. Soar for Planet Ravelon. I want to build a little bit of a house area. No, wrong setting. Yeah. There we go. Uh, for now, I just need to build... Um, the base computer is what makes this a base, right? Yes. Huzzah! Planet Ravelon is every night the parties. <laughs> There's a party every night, even in 300 degrees Celsius rain. All right, I want to rename my base. What? I had to unlock the archive. Okay. I'll take construction data, sure. Okay. How do I rename this base? That's what I want to do. There we go. Ravelon Fishing. Uh, no. How do I name a vacation house? I don't know how you do that. Like, I don't know what you name it. Fishing hut? Uh... <laughs> Ravelon Vacation Fern. Oh, Ravelon Resort! Perfect. Let's do it. All right. Now if I can just build a teleporter. I need metal plating and carbon, carbon nanotube. Fudge. How many metal platings do I need? Four. Okay, so I gotta go hunt for some stuff. There we go. Hey, 
Clara just casually tearing holes in space time for a pretty planet. I've had so many goals today, and then I was like, oh, rave planet, that's my new priority. <laughs> I do think this is a very pretty spot, though. Um, and I think at some point, if I have the materials, I'll build, like, a little staircase out of here so I'm not having to, like, fly my ship all over the place. All right, so I need to build fudge. I need to build four of those. And at some point, I got to upgrade all my rigs and stuff. Like, I got to get my fishing rig back online. Hello, little guy. God, I love him. He's so silly. He's so small. <laughs> the fish shack. Wait, that's cute, too. Because, like, I think Paradise Ferd is, yeah, it's where, like, I'm going to have, like, my, you know, employees. So this is where I can go when I want to get away from them and have a little vacay. I'm not even super upset that there's boiling rain here because it doesn't seem like it's, like, super de duper common. Um, and as long as I have my ship nearby, I should be okay. I say as my ship is not nearby, <laughs> but I'm confident I'll be okay. Oh, you know what sucks though? I don't have gold with me and I'm going to need that for energy building things. Fudge sickles. How can I build a biofuel reactor? I can build. So that's good. Um, hold on. What do I need for the biofuel reactor? Just one metal plating. Beep a doop boo. And now. I'll just put some biofuel in here. Huzzah! We have power! We have base! Yay! It's so cute. Yeah, I'm gonna have to build a little house here at some point. I just need to get the um, materials and salvage data for it. So you know what? Speaking of salvage data... Let's see if there's anything nearby. All right, let's get out of here. What matters is now I can get back here. That's like half the battle, I fear. Bam 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 Okay. Um any salvage data nearby? Um Hey, get away from my ship. Leave my ship alone. Oh, the sky is orange. That's pretty. Ooh! There's some stuff over here. Let's check it out. Uh... Hello! I'll take a waypoint, sure. Oh, cool, there's a bunch of these lakes. That's fun. Oh, I found a minor settlement. <gasps> I'm gonna have neighbors. Oh, we should go say hello. Seven hours. Oh, that's not neighbors. <laughs> that is very far. Um, Let's go say hello to them. We're 
we're gonna get out of here. Oh, I can't. There's atmospheric interference. What a load of malarkey. All right. And Kerchow. Chow! The closest neighbors being seven hours away is kind of nice, honestly. <laughs> I can just chill in peace, you know? Ooh, can I land in your little landing pad? Oh, I can. Hello, neighbors. Hi there. Orvax entity. Um, I'm here to in peace. Oh, you don't want to talk to me? Wait, why did my standing decrease? Oh, shoot. I didn't know that could happen. I'm in the negative with the Corvax now. That's not good. All right. Um, I'm going to have to make friends with you guys. Hello. <laughs> I'm true short. I can't see over the counter. Um... Oh, you know, I do need dihydrogen jelly. Let me just buy three of those. I don't know if that... I don't know if buying things helps with my standing, but... I can certainly try, you know what I mean? I have ion batteries at home. Um... Let me buy two wiring, wiring looms. While I'm here. Um, I'll sell the humming seal. Atlantidium, I'm gonna hold on to. Thanks, bud. Um, can I make a hermetic seal and wiring tubes myself? Not wiring looms. What's the other thing I need? I forgot. Nanotubes. <gasps> Planetary pirate raid! Oh, I'm gonna help! Uh, let me get out of here. No, that's not a door, that's an eyeball. I'm gonna help! I'm gonna fight the pirates! I'm here to assist! I know you guys don't like me, and that's okay! Are you a bad guy? Come here, mister. Leave them alone. They're just socially awkward and just want to live in peace. Get out of here. I said get out of here. Go on, get. That's right. Hooray! I got my standing back. That felt nice. All right, can I land? Cause I wasn't done shopping. <laughs> Friggin' jerks. Honestly, that's how I want to live. Neighbors being seven hours away sounds nice. <laughs> being happy that the neighbors are seven hours away is the most introverted thing I've heard this entire week. I just don't want to have to socialize unless I want to, you know? And it's annoying when people just show up at your door and it's like, I know you mean well, but I don't want to entertain you right now. I just want to do my own thing. Nice. Is there anything I can explore while I'm here? I got money, but I that wasn't really my motivating factor here. I just wanted to be friends. Ooh. Carbon. Um 
It's funny, I actually almost prefer this planet at night just because of how glowy and nice it is. Ooh. Instruct the teleport receiver. Teleport receiver. I don't know what that's gonna do if I do it, though. That's what makes me a little nervous. Ding dong! <laughs> It'll receive teleports, duh! Actually, hold on. Let me see. Technology module. Oh, hello. Thank you. Technology module. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, and there's another building. All right, I'm going to go grab this buried tech. Nope, whoops. Oh, Glitter Cave is pretty. Sick. Okay. But that is not what I want this day. Ooh, cobalt's hard to find, so you know what? Let me grab that real quick. I'm gonna run for that, uh, buried tech, and then I'm gonna head out to that other, uh, unknown house thing. I don't quite know what it is, but... Hello. Hazardous floor is fine. That's not going to bother me. Technology module. La 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 la. Um, house. Let's go this way. The teleport receiver is good to have. All right, I'm going to have to go build that at my main base. Oh, there's a tunnel over there. Oh, whoa, what is this place? Is this a trade hub? I like that all the planets on, or all the buildings on this planet have been like pink and stuff. Like they're all very saturated colors. It's fun. Oh, it's a window. Hold on. What's in here? I want a window like this. That's sick. That's so cool. The way it just like swings open. Oh, who had a little temper tantrum in here? Why'd you throw your stuff around? I want to make a house that's hot pink. Can I climb up here? Oh, it's just a place to hang a flag. Huh. Um. Berry technology anywhere? Hell yeah. Ow. I need berry technology if I'm gonna make friends. <laughs> And give them, I mean, like, I don't actually know if they will functionally use the furniture that I put in, but it feels like it'd be the nice thing to do, is to make, like, a crew quarters, you know what I mean? But I'm gonna need more salvage data so I can unlock furniture. Oh, 
Aw, oh, fudge. The evil rain is back. It looks like the rain comes like once a day, roughly. All right, let's bring my ship in. Yoink. Uh, we're gonna open this real quick. Oh, the boiling rain hurts my body. Oh, ouch. Ow, 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 ow. Ship! <laughs> Save me from boiling alive! <laughs> Please! <laughs> okay. While that's sorting itself out... Oh no! My backup super liminal drive is damaged. How did that happen? Fudge. Oh, I don't have chromatic metal on me. I used it all. Um. Hmm. I think I can make an ion battery. There we go. Oh, it might be from the pirates. That makes sense. So then... As much as I'm having fun exploring this planet, I think my best bet is to go home. <coughs> well... Okay, I have one of two options. I could go home. Why don't I explore the other planets in the system real quick, just to see what's in here. That's the ground. There we go. That's space. <laughs> Real quick, I am curious to check out these other planets. Um, that is a planet, right? What is this? Why isn't it populating any information? Grassy planet, desert planet. Let's head to the grassy planet real quick. Fugitive starship? Yeah, I don't want to deal with that. If it's a significant threat, I'm not a very good pilot. I want to go home. <laughs> Rainy planets have more storm. Yeah, that's essentially a, a paradise planet, though. Um, oh, wait! This fugitive ship does have a hefty price on it. Hundred fifty-four thousand reward. Worst case scenario, I die, right? Well, y you can't always make an omelet without breaking a few eggs, right? Where are your buddies? Pirate entity. There we go. Also, wait, I can't have pirates threatening my paradise planet. That's my vacation home you're threatening. I can't allow for that. I vacation there. And it's a very nice place. Hopefully I survive. Hopefully I don't die today. Do, 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 do. Hey, you want to pay for my ship? Where's your buddies? That was it? Oh, I thought that was going to be a lot worse. Hell yeah. That's a skeletal planet, which I don't really want to check out. Oh, space station. You know what? Real quick. 
Let's stop by there, because then I can teleport back here real easy. <laughs> at some point, we need to throw stuff at Clara until she fixes the half-built modules. I am planning to, to fix them. It's just that half of the materials I need are at home. And I figure, you know, when in Rome, explore the planets, right? Uh, so you know what? Maybe I'll collect what I need while I'm here. Because I think I have a refiner with me, so... I don't remember if I've been here yet or not, so... Oh, I did come here, because I had to meet the guy, but that's fine. Um... It's a good place to, uh... Oh, hello, manager! Learn me a word, please. Rawr. Buh. Cool. Um, sales-wise, I think I'm good. Uh, so let's see if I need to buy anything, and let me finish building these. Carbon nanotubes and chromatic metal. All right, chromatic metal, I can uh, farm on a planet. There we go. But now I can fish. Just gecking it again, I see. <laughs> I'm a Gek, so I want to be able to speak Gek. It just kind of feels right. Okay, I wanted to check out that grassy planet, which is over here, I believe. Nope, I'm wrong. Let's get around the space station. Oh, you are... Fractured. You are... Desert. You are... Grassy. Let's check this out. Because this looks like it also has the potential of being a paradise planet. Can you imagine being a Gek and not knowing how to speak Gek? Yeah, that's kind of my situation. So... <laughs> this is good. While ads run, I'll get where I need to go. I need copper, so I'll use this planet to get some, and that's how I can get more chromatic metal. anything to sell to you, friend. I'm sorry. It's a shame. I was hoping I could help him out, but... I don't carry enough stuff on me. I'm, I'm so, like... My inventory management's all wrong. I keep trying not to hold on to stuff so I can salvage things, but then I don't have anything to sell. Alright. Does anything here look like Copper. I'm seeing trees. Well, this is as good a spot as any to land. There we go. Sorry, it was hard to figure out how to get myself landed. Trade terminal? That's cool. Um... Hmm. Doo -doo -doo. Um, 
What are the chances of there being a copper deposit nearby? Ooh! That's not bad. Look at that guy. Um... And then there's a building. Let's just see. What's out here? Whoa! Those are really pretty. Those are sick. They're like big old butterfly bug aliens. Something like that, at least. Let me see. <coughs> Excuse me. Whoa! Yeah, these guys are cute! Their wings are pretty. Uh, let's go do some scanning for some nanites. Oh, hey! I almost missed this. Um, scan those. All right, let's go towards that copper deposit. Where did I put my? Oh wait, you have wings? Can you fly? That's interesting. I didn't realize it had wings. There's my ship. I found you. Good. Yeah, so I'm thinking I'm going to grab the copper so I can get a bunch of chromatic metal. Um, so it's a good thing I'm on this planet. We're going to go grab that copper and... Oh, hey. Well, ain't that nifty. This is that house I saw on my map. All right, so before I go messing with the locals, I don't want to forget about that copper deposit because <laughs> I know myself and if I don't do it now, I'm just going to forget. Doop a doo, doop a doo. Okay. Eh. Copper, copper, copper. <gasps> Friendly, like me. Hello. Okay, Um. perfect. There we go. That's looking like copper to me. I was told if I keep my beam laser small, then I get more materials. So I'm trying to make sure I do that. Perfect. So you know what I think I'll do? When I'm done mining this out, uh, I think I'll run a refiner and then go and talk to the neighbors real quick. I think it's nice that in most systems, there's at least one paradise-ish planet. Um, and I think that's nice because then if someone likes the system they're in, they have like a reasonable... <laughs> a reasonable-ish place to live if they so choose, you know? I don't know how the game used to generate systems. Actually, I have a question. Because people were saying that the game changed how stations are made. So what happened to the old layouts? Did they all get completely rewritten? Imagine somebody lands in your yard and mines your copper deposit. I mean, no one's come out screaming at me yet, so I should be okay. Have you ever had that happen where you, like, stop by someone's yard and they get mad at you for it? One time when I was little, uh, my mom and I were driving around because our dog got out. Uh, and so we were, you know, calling for our dog and trying to find him. And uh, we weren't in our neighborhood. We were visiting family for the holiday, so we didn't, like, know the locals. Um... So at one point, you know, we're trying to get our bearings, so we pull into a driveway real quick so we can, like, you know, look at the GPS and whatever. Uh, and this guy comes out of his house. Uh, oh, I have to sneeze again. I'm so sorry. <coughs> uh, 
God, it was really stuck in there. I'm so sorry. Give me a moment. This guy comes out of his house holding a shotgun. And mind you, this isn't the total boonies. It's a residential street in a residential neighborhood. Uh, but he comes outside with a shotgun and it's like, what are you doing on my property? And so my poor mother is like, Hi, I'm so sorry, sir. We'll be leaving right now. We were just looking for our lost dog. And he's like, oh, a likely story, lady. And my mother's like, you know, child in the car, doesn't really want to be here. So <laughs> immediately she peels out of there. Uh, and later we found the dog and everything was fine. But we were talking to my family because we're like, do you know this guy? <laughs> this man was nuts. Uh, and my relatives were like, we don't know who that is, but uh, we're going to not go to that street anymore because, like, what? <laughs> and mind you, we're a pair of very short little golden retrievers. We're not, like, I don't feel like anything about us screamed, like, threatening criminals. <laughs> like, we weren't throwing on ski masks and pulling out curl bars, you know what I mean? Uh, and it was, like, broad daylight. It was the middle of the day. It wasn't even, like, you know, like, dead of night. It was, like, early evening. There's still daylight hours. That was... I And thankfully, like, I really wasn't that worried because it just seemed like all bluster, but my mother was very mad at that dude. Rightfully so. No, can't say I've experienced that. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad that's not a universal experience. <sighs> all right, how much copper did that net me? Let's see. Oh, 2,000. I think that should be enough. <laughs> That's a pretty decent earning, if I say so myself. It's funny, I keep waiting for the boiling rain to come back, and I have to keep reminding myself that this planet probably doesn't do that. Oh, that's adorable. Hold on. Look at this, like, cobra dinosaur. Look at these guys. They're so cute. This is like a dinosaur dinosaur if I've ever seen one. You know what I mean? Produces <gasps> giant egg. Are you young? Intermediate. Oh, they're wary. No, be my friend. I'm not mean. Have food. Please be my friend. Pet, pet. Induce egg. Pet, pet. Eat. Oiga, oiga. <laughs> what a cute name. There we go, buddy. It's you and me. Finally, I got something that gives me eggs. Let's go. I love him and I want 13. Oh, it's a baby! You look so different, though. Oh, I think it's because they're different species. <coughs> God, I'm so sorry, y'all. I am just all mucus today. Ugh. I'm sorry, buddy. I was trying to open this box. I'm so sorry, y'all. I'm not trying to sneeze all over y'all. Hello? Hello? Oh. Shake hand? Oh, well, I'm glad I helped, I guess. Ooh. Uh. Here's your Galactic Trade Terminal. Um. Oh wait, I have to, before I forget. Let me put down my uh, little extractor die. Oh, 
I'll just put all the copper in here. Wait, I forgot to start the process. There we go. Alright, give me a moment, please. Oh, gosh, sorry. I'm, like, full of mucus, and I don't know why. Ugh. I hope to heaven I am not getting sick, because that is the last thing I need right now. It's the Mothman. All right, while I wait for that refiner, um... Right, I need the chromatic metal. Can I make ion batteries? I have ion batteries. I really don't want to make those. Oh, my starship also needed something repaired. Alright, let me buy a wiring loom. Um... Since I'm here. Hello. Do you have a wiring loom? Hell yeah, thank you. And then I just need a ton of chromatic metal and that'll fix up what I need to fix up. Zograth, hello. I'm gonna just put all this in my suit right now. Ding dong. Cool, now that's installed properly. And let's fix that. There we go, ship's all fixed up. Hell yeah. Nice. Man, I have to wait a whole day before I can get an egg out of you. That sucks. Can I get eggs from your buddies? I think I have to feed them all. They probably won't have eggs to give either. Alright, we'll stop processing for now because I got what I need. Take that back. Alrighty, um, since I'm in the neighborhood... Oh, there's something I haven't discovered yet. That's flying around down there. What are you? Ah, thank you. Hold on. <gasps> it's gender is alpha. Is this Omegaverse? <laughs> I'm insufferable. <laughs> oh, this is, I already found this. I'm a little ding dong. My bad. I totally forgot. That's the one I already <laughs> took up. God dang it. Um... <sighs> the rest of the copper deposits are not terribly close. Should I try the other dinos? I might as well. You give milk, which I don't want. I might have to make more creature pellets, but thankfully that's not a terrible ask. Hello, dinos! Do you have egg? Hell yeah! Giant egg! Oh, we're gonna eat good tonight, y'all. I'm so excited. Eggs. Um. Hello. You just wagged your tail. Giant eggs. Dang, that is pretty good, pretty good value. 
Eggs in this economy? Finally, right? If I can save myself a, a, a paycheck and get my eggs for free, then yeah, I'm not gonna pay for this. You kidding? Hello. Hello. Uh, you know what I'm gonna rename this place to, if I can? So I had a little save point. Oh, where was that now? Didn't it? Oh, I might be misremembering. Never mind. I was gonna name this Egg Outpost. Uh, so if I wanted to come back here, I'd be able to, like, find it really quickly. Why is there poop? Is this, like, Ark? Can I collect animal poop? If they eat? Oh, great. I can collect actual poop. Well, uh, science, I guess. Jeez, you guys have big poopies. I mean, I guess it makes sense. But these creatures don't have stomachs. That is a note about them. So... How do they eat food without a stomach? Like, they can still have a colon, but I guess their colon just breaks everything down? I wonder how that works. Okay. So, I have all my equipment upgraded properly. Let's go back and check in on our Corvax buddy. I think that's the next plan here. Okay, I already searched those, yeah. All right. Let's go finish what we started. Well, good to know there's another paradise planet here. And this one doesn't have boiling rain, so... <laughs> I'll take that as a win, you know? Maybe, maybe the bar is really, 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 really low, but... Okay, spaceship! Spaceship! Because I want to uh, just teleport home. I feel like that'll probably save me a good chunk of fuel. Uh, so we're gonna go to Stay Station, we'll take the teleporter back to Paradise Ferd, and we'll see if we can keep building out my base to meet Artemis- or Apollo, specifically. Artemis' buddy. I'm gonna wait until I get closer to the space station and then I'm gonna exit. I like hello. There we go. Let's refocus my uh, destination. Oh, you know what? I think I have some... Yeah, maybe I can get those pirate transponders uh, traded over. Let's see if I can do that. Actually. Alright, I gotta get to the other part of the triangle. Hold on. There we go. Nope. Oh, I was too fast. Oh, I thought it would grab me. I guess I have to have a slow approach. I'm slowly converting friends and loved ones to VTubers. Gosh, you make it sound like a cult. I think my thing is always... Um, if people don't like VTubers, that's fine. But, you know, give it a try, because there's so many kinds of VTubers out there, you know? Um, there's so, like, there's there's VTubers who only play horror games. There's VTubers who only play FPS games. There's me, uh, who's just constantly trying to keep track of what I last said I wanted to do. <laughs> I want to go. Um... I believe this is the one I want to go to. I could be wrong. Hey, VOD watchers, make more people watch Clara, thanks. No, that's, please, <laughs> Kef, you're so sweet. My thing is, 
If my content's not for you, that's okay. Like, I'm, I'm not gonna be upset by that, right? Oh, this is not where I wanna be. Dang, Norbit. We gotta jump. I think this is the one I wanna be at. Souls players who have chat bully them with crowd control. <laughs> but yeah, like for me, VTubing is just a medium, right? Um, it's a medium by which somebody streams. Uh, but I think like, I don't know. I feel like when people are like, oh, I don't like VTubers wholesale. I don't like them. And it's like, okay, I hear what you're saying. However, there's like so many kinds of VTubers, right? Like, don't, don't limit your entertainment options, I guess, is my thought process. Hey, has your cooldown, uh, um, uncooled? <laughs> Reset. I have stuff to give. Let me... God dang it. I guess I'll just sell it, then? Man, that's all I wanted to do was get rid of this. Okay, so let's go home. Home is here. Paradise bird. Do 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 do. With the beautiful pink skies. Or not, because it's nighttime. <laughs> but at least I can go fishing again. All right. While I'm here, let me grab those ion batteries. Um. I need that for something. There we go. And then I need a wiring loom, which should also be in here. Huzzah! There we go. Now all my stuff is good to go. We're going to charge my stuff back up. All right. Hey, pals. How we doing? Hello. I'm glad you're happy to be here. Take these lu bl blueprints. Lubricant and acid. Liquid's close to your heart. Why? <laughs> Harvest marrow bulb. Create plans for microprocessors and advanced refiners. Marrow bulb and cobalt. Okay. Um. In this moment, I am totally blanking on what gives me marrow bulb. I like cannot for the life of me remember. <gasps> Baked eggs. Cool. I'm gonna put that ingredient in storage for now. I can cook poop to make yeast? <gasps> that might be how I make bread, because bread needs yeast, sugar, flour, milk. Oh, well that's going in ingredient storage. Hell yeah. Caves? Oh, that's right. This can't this planet has caves, don't it? Let's organize my inventory real quick. Um. Curiosities can be sold. I should sell all of these. I should have done that while I was in the terminal, dang it. I gotta build a trading terminal for myself. Poop bread, let's go! <laughs> Poop equals yeast? What kind of math is this? Don't ask me, math is not my forte. Alright, let's go fly around and look for a cave.
Hello, caves. Any cave holes around here? This looks promising. Hold on, over this ridge. Yeah, over here. That's looking like a cave to me. Yeah. Ow. Whoops. There we go, cave marrow. I was right, I would find some marrow bulbs here. Although not as many as I would have liked, but maybe I just gotta keep looking. There we go. I didn't check how many I would need. Hold on. Oh god, which quest was that? I don't remember now. Should contact Apollo next, because that's what I intended to do and then totally forgot. Let me go grab some marrow bulbs first. I don't give them popular videos like Alphabet with Zen or Scuff Comps. Fit their first intro into VTubers. Yeah, I think again, like like all media, VTubers have their own genres, right? So like if I have a friend who only wants to watch, like, cozy games like Stardew Valley, I'm probably not going to recommend them a streamer who plays, like, Overwatch necessarily, right? Hello, Marrow Bulb. boop a doop boop 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 beep a doop boop 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 I kind of wish I could put a marrow bulb in like a little pot in my house. Because they're really pretty. Honestly. You know, I feel like it'd make a nice decoration. Oh wait, can I plant them and harvest them like a food? Abyssal horror! What the hell is that? What does that mean? Oh, it's got a mouth. I'm not messing with it. I just, you know, after our foray with the big old worm, I'm kind of good, you know? <laughs> a eye stack? I don't want to deal with something called an eye stack. What is that? I don't, mmm. No, I'm good. I think having a sense of self-preservation is a good thing, you know? Alright, let's go home. But what does its mouth do? Eat me! In a really unpleasant manner. I don't want to be digested. Thank you very much. Landed. All right, do I have what you need now, Mr. Professor Man? Hello. All right, I'll hurry. What am I supposed to do though? <laughs> Hold on, uh... Find a terminal within the building? Oh, I gotta go do... Okay. So, let's... Return to space and talk to Apollo. 
I'll put the marrow bulb in storage just so I can have it. Oh yeah, that should be enough. Um, okay. Ship! We're gonna go talk to Apollo again, bud. How do you know it's unpleasant? Have you ate you before? I don't... Imagine getting chomped to little bits is gonna be a good time. I don't... I feel like my imagination can figure that out. <laughs> How's the base? Make sure you hire a few staff with it. What are units if not to assert dominance over your fellow life forms? But on to more important things. If you're going to work with me, your equipment needs to be in good condition. We can't have you dying out there. Not yet, at least. You can find nanite clusters scattered in abandoned buildings and other damaged machines. Ironic, really. The same structures the Sentinels destroyed will lead to their deaths. Trade these nanite clusters with merchants and space stations to get the technology you need. Oh, and one last thing. Take this personal force field blueprint. You're going to need it. Consider it a gift, my little investment into our partnership. Thanks, bud. I just used my ion batteries. Gosh darn it, now I gotta craft more. Okay. I love it. Collect nanites to buy technology upgrades. Abandoned buildings. Nanite rich location detected. Don't tell me it's on Evil Worm Planet. Why is everything on Evil Worm Planet? Ugh. Every time. Every time. Why can't for once it be on a paradise planet where it rains, uh, sparkles? And at, uh, at dawn, there's a rainbow every day. Why Why does it have to be the caustic nightmare? Everyone knows Evil Worm Planet is the place to be. I gotta rename this planet. I really just want to name it Evil Worm Planet, but that feels too on the nose. <laughs> Clara, those sparkles are diamonds and they hurt. <laughs> Could you imagine if it rained diamonds? That would be awful. You know, I do have to wonder what kind of fishing I can do here. It does rain diamonds on Uranus. That's true. That is true. Hello. Just a big old worm on a big old worm journey. I'm gonna need ferrite dust to make those ion batteries. Ah, <sighs> dang it. Oh. Okay, there's a show I want to talk about. I haven't watched it yet, so please no spoilers. Um, but uh, Disney Plus just released uh, Agatha all along, right? She was so freaking popular and iconic that uh, she got her own spinoff show, which genuinely I love for Katherine Hahn. She killed it. I'm so glad for her. The reason I'm talking about this show is because... Um, Patti LuPone is in it. If you're not a Broadway person, Patti LuPone is, like, a legendary Broadway performer. Um, she's just absolutely iconic, a, a really incredible talent. Um, and so she has done television before, but, like, that's not necessarily her world. Like, she's primarily known for Broadway. So the second, you know, we all heard that she was cast, we're like, oh, okay, there's going to be singing in this show. Because you're not paying for Patti LuPone and not having some singing happening, right? Uh, and so I haven't had a chance to watch it yet, but I'm so excited because she's such an iconic actress. I, I saw an interview on TikTok where they were, you know, red carpet hyping the, the show's premiere, right? And the interviewer was like, oh, so like, have you watched any Marvel shows before? Like, do you like Marvel stuff? And 
I really loved that she was like, no. <laughs> like, no. Not, a, not in the slightest. <laughs> and to be clear, I'm not saying that people, like... Are, are required to watch Marvel Media to participate in it as a performer. It was just funny to me, because I'm like, let's all be real for a minute. Do you think this iconic, legendary Broadway actress is watching every piece of Marvel Media? Like, <laughs> let's think about that for a second. <laughs> I loved the unbothered vibes, genuinely. Uh, it just It just brought me a lot of joy. <laughs> And to be clear, I don't think she was, like, being rude or anything, either. Oh, whoops. Ah, fudge! Not you! Freaking eggs! Ugh. God dang it. Well, as long as I don't get close, I'm safe, right? How is this terminal haunted? What's haunting you? Returning user identified. Terminal now active. Unlocking data log continuation for analysis. Why is it red? Recorded message. I found a body. It's unlike anything I have ever seen. If there's a species like it, then I hope they're all dead like this one. At first I thought it's some tra tragic remnant of a matter transfer tech malfunction. A cage of bones and flesh studded with random patterns of crooked teeth and roomy, lidless eyes. But no. Some horror of twisted evolution warped by cruel nature. I can't help but picture what it would have looked like alive. I cannot help but fear it will live again. I discover something coded deep inside the long dead traveler's data log. Something has been left that will aid me on my journey. Why are you speaking that into existence? Why are you like, boy, howdy, I sure hope this thing doesn't become alive. Why would you say that? Why not just let it, ugh. Ugh. Gosh. Does it dream of electric sheep? <laughs> I hope it doesn't dream at all. All right, let's get the heck out of here. Multi-tool technology merchant. All right, let me get to my ship. Oh, hey, bear. Hi, buddy. Bye, buddy. Oh, my ship is not nearby, isn't it? All right, let me just summon it. Come home to me, ship. Get me the hell off this planet. That's the worm you've been feeling. Yeah, every time the ground shakes, it's a worm jumping around. I don't know if it's a singular worm or multiple worms, though. Oh, gosh. I think that's off planet. Let's see. That's only one of them? Oh, great. So there's more than one. Oh, perfect. Oh, I love it. Alright, so we're going to the space station. Wow! And I guess whatever multi tool upgrade I get will uh, help me find Apollo. But the good news is, I believe I've bought a few multi-tool upgrade slots, so I'll be able to slot it in without issue. So at least that's one less thing to worry about. Based on the trailers, the show is not for me. I'm hearing mixed reviews. I, I've heard from, like, musical theater fans, they're eating it up. <laughs> I don't know about, like, wider audiences. I'm definitely going to give it a check. Because um, I also, like I said, like, Katherine Hahn is such a, a great comedian. 
Um, so like genuinely, I'm, I don't know. I really liked WandaVision. Honestly, I think WandaVision was one of the more interesting shows in television that I feel like I've seen. Um, honestly, like I really did like WandaVision. Uh, like if you, if you remove it from the Marvel canon for a minute, if you remove the fact that it's like a Marvel show and just examine it in its own right, it's genuinely a fun show. I thought it was really interesting um, meditation on sitcoms as a genre. Um, cool. Boltcaster upgrade. All right. Oh, why does the game want me to get a... Oh. What does it want me to have this for? Oh. All right, Apollo. Why do you want me to have a better bolt caster, buddy? That has me nervous. WandaVision was amazing for an MCU show. I genuinely, like, found myself really excited for each episode. Um, and I mean that very sincerely. Um, you know another show I'm really enjoying? Please no spoilers, because I haven't had a chance to finish it yet. It's called Ev uh, Kevin Can F Himself. That has been phenomenal. You are not alone. I know you, Traveler. I know where you've been. I know where you're going. There is no need to hurry. Okay, who are you? You will find us when the time is right. That's not horrifying. You can't just say that. <laughs> Are you ready? Make sure you are. This job isn't going to be a small one. You might not be heading to that base of yours for a while. Oh, shoot. Okay. I'm gonna help Apollo next time. I am very afraid as to what it is he wants me to do. <laughs> But he wanted me to upgrade my bolt caster, so uh, I have a feeling I'm gonna have to fight something, and we're gonna fight it next time because I don't have it in me to do it today. <laughs> Thank you all so much for joining me. I I really had so much fun today, uh, and I'm interested to see what horrible thing he makes me do next time. 